All right, this is Ken Rosever, and uh, here's another rational function that we're going to do. y equals 4x plus 4x minus 24 all over x squared minus 3x minus 10. Your first task when you are given one of these should be to factor the numerator and the denominator completely. Um, so I'm going to factor this completely. And I've done it already. So I'm just going to go like this. And if you need a review of factoring, there's plenty of videos on YouTube for that. Maybe someday I'll even add a couple few of my own there. But for now, I'm going to assume you know how to factor. And we get that. That is this rational function in factored form. So now what? Well, we're going to begin by finding the vertical asymptotes. We know vertical asymptotes are unshared zeros of the denominator. Uh, these two factors are pretty close, but the zero of this one is negative 2 and the zero of this one is positive 2. So there aren't any shared factors anywhere. So we don't have to worry about um, the the challenge that holes bring. Um, when you have a shared factor, you get a hole. And eventually, I'll do one of those and I'll record it on video here, but not yet. Just doing the basics right now. So, vertical asymptotes. I always say asymptotes, but it's asymptotes. Are they found at the zeros of the denominator and the zero of this denominator is 5 the zero of this factor is negative 2 so those are the zeros of the denominator those are the vertical asymptotes with the horizontal asymptotes we always compare the degrees so I'm gonna look at the degree of the numerator and I'm gonna look at the degree of the denominator and I'm gonna compare them notice the degree is 2 and the degree is 2. So here we have, um, I call it case 2, because the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are equal. Let me see if I can fit denom in there. So they're the same. Whenever they're the same, we take the coefficients of the leading terms. The coefficient of the x squared down there is a 1. So it'll be the ratio of those leading coefficients, 4 over 1, which is 4. So the horizontal asymptote is at a height of 4. Next, we're going to do the x-intercepts. x-intercepts are found at the unshared zeros of the numerator the unshared zeros. There are no shared zeros here. Um, negative 3 makes that equal 0. 2 makes that equal 0. So we have x-intercepts at um, x equals negative 3 and at x equals 2. So that's negative 3 comma 0 and 2 comma 0. The y-intercepts Apologize for my penmanship there. Um, how do we find a y-intercept? We set x equal to 0, or find f of 0. Same thing, right? If you plug in a 0 here and a 0 there, you can't plug in one there. You plug in one there and one there, you can't plug in one there. This term and that term will be gone. This term and this term will be gone. You'll have 0 plus 0 minus 24 over 0 minus 0, minus 10. You'll have negative 24 over negative 10. So when x equals 0, y equals negative 24 over negative 10, which is 2.4. So the y-intercept is 0, comma 2.4. So let's graph what we have so far. So there's my graph. I got my x-axis, my y-axis putting all these things on there. At 5, I have a vertical asymptote. 
just for fun, let's do it in a different color. Let's do it in red. One, two, three, four, five. X equals five at negative two. At y equals four, one, two, three, four. I have a horizontal asymptote. And because this is case two, in a moment after I plot the points I have, I will check if we have a crossing point, if we have a place in which the graph crosses through here. Um, let me graph these points. X-intercepts, negative three, comma, zero another one at 2 comma 0 a y intercept at 0 comma 2.4 so maybe right there um, it should be I don't know that I should say it should be obvious but it should be apparent if you study this that well this is sloping down and since we looked for X intercepts and we didn't find any more over here it's probably not the case that it goes back down like this it's probably the case that it goes up and through so I suspect there's a crossing point somewhere over here we will test that suspicion in a moment what else could be going on well if it went out the top it could come back in the bottom and hit that and then it could actually go up over this thing and come back down it, there could be a crossing point over here we could have multiple crossing points um, the idea is the horizontal asymptote is something that the graph approaches for X's that are larger so in here where the X's are still small just about anything can happen I'm gonna do that test now how do we test if a graph crosses through its asymptote the answer is we set the equation equal to 4 we check can y equal 4 4 is the height of this asymptote I didn't write that y equals 4 so I'm gonna check does this have any solutions um, we do know that if we solve this and we got either of these these are not part of the domain so neither of those values could possibly be solutions um, so knowing that it's okay to cross multiply cross multiplying the denominator removes it or multiplying both sides by the denominator as you see me doing here gets it off the bottom and distributing the four you'll see this whoops that'll be a minus equals 4x squared minus 12x minus 40 on both sides of the equation I have a 4x so get rid of that now I gotta combine my like terms so I'm gonna add a 12x here add a 12x here the moment you see that the x's do not cancel on both sides you know there's a solution because we're not getting a contradiction so this is 16x let's finish this this is supposed to be a minus 24 so let me add 24 here and there those cancel I am left with nothing over here except for negative 40 plus 24 which is negative 16 divide both sides by 16 and you get that x equals negative 1 so supposedly when x equals negative 1 y will equal 4 negative 1 comma 4 all right where I said it would be there's a crossing point and that makes sense with the pattern this x-intercept and this y-intercept are making that's this pattern right here so let's see what happens I'm gonna connect this now it goes through this x-intercept how do I know this x-intercept is caused by that factor and that factor does not have an even power so it crosses through again that discussion is on page 268 and 269 um, it crosses through it goes down because it's going down and this the factor that created this asymptote did not have an even power it comes back in from the other side nice going back this way it goes out the top 
this right here was created by that factor there not squared right not to a fourth power so it comes back in the bottom here because there will be a sign change and it goes that way so there you go that would be the graph of this rational function I like highlighting my uh, asymptotes there we go all right I'm gonna do some more some other time but it's almost nine so that's it for now uh, but keep looking I'll make some more videos uh, see you guys tomorrow